What's going on guys? Welcome to our channel. My name is Aaron. This is my lovely wife Jamie and this Hi. is our little Isabella right here. And we are going to be reviewing the top three of the kids musical instrument toys on Amazon. Um, <laughs> these are the top three toys yes. that these people are, are loving these days. Toys. And we're going to give you guys our these thoughts. Oh, Those are toys. We're gonna give you guys our thoughts and opinions mm. on all of these. We have three different categories where yes. we're gonna be rating up to three stars each. So we've got affordability, which is like, how affordable is it? Yes. Easy cleanup, which is very important to all parents. And then what's the last one? Assembly, yes. which is how well does this get put, get put together? Because I don't have two hours to assemble a toy. This is the Coco Melon First Act musical keyboard. It has 23 keys and it also plays a pre recorded version of the ABC song. What are your thoughts, babe? It's pretty small. I think I like that it's probably portable. You can bring it in the car. Yeah. Okay, so the noise is pretty pretty up there, so it can it might get annoying. She obviously likes it. We yeah. can't keep it out of her hands. But, Bella, do you want to show them the one thing you do have to take off, though? It's yeah. these little it's came on the packaging. Yeah. You have to unscrew these before you... Uh, right. Which is why I would definitely give it like a two out of assembly, maybe even a one, because that's super irritating when you take a toy out of a box for your kid. And you gotta use tools. I yeah. Mean, it happens, have, like, but yeah. something this small, I don't think so. How much was it? This is listed for $14.99 on Amazon. Okay. Which I think you're paying for the name. You're, you were definitely paying for Coco Melon. Yeah. So I mean. Not too bad. I yeah. Mean. I would do it simply because, you know, Bella does like a lot of Coco Melon stuff. Yeah. We definitely have some of their stuff. If your kids, blocked. yeah, if you love Coco Melon, yeah. if, I mean, if your kid loves Coco Melon and yeah. you can stand Coco Melon, you know, I recommend it. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. So, price, yeah, we give that a three? Yeah. Three stars? Um, yeah, because you're paying for the name. So yeah. Three so out of three on the name. or Three stars. On affordability. Yeah. And then on the last one, easy cleanup. It's obviously a three out of three. Yeah. It's one, it's one piece. Here. It's probably yeah. actually going to go on a car ride with us today. Yeah, so. So for our number two, it's the VTech Kids Beats or Kitty Beats yes. drum set. And we got this in the frustration free packaging. It's only like $15, which means that it comes in a relatively boring box, but it's more affordable and it's a lot easier to open. And this is how it comes. It's not crazy loud, which is not bad at all. Yeah, it and does have a volume notch on the bottom. Oh, it does? I yeah. didn't know that part. It's got three different levels. If you, This is one of the quietest, and this is the loudest, but it's still not that loud. Yeah, it's... it's yeah, it's not bad at all. It's a bunch of little buttons on here where you can jam out, alpha beats, uh, freestyle, and I think it makes some dog noises and all that. But what I do like is because the drumsticks, they're pretty rubber right here. And so like, versus it being just plastic and how loud it can be. I just, yeah. I love this. I feel like it would be kind of cool for both ends to be plastic yeah. just for the sake of it being for kids. Um, but at the same time, I mean, they'll hopefully they'll actually kind of learn how to use a drumstick yeah. and so they'll use the right side. Mm -hmm. And when we first got this, this um, part of the stand right here was not assembled. I actually don't think it's an easy removal. It, it's locked um, in though. Which is great. And so easy to put on, you put easy to assemble. And it's already standing up on its own. It's a really great toy. We actually mm -hmm. bought this for our nephew for uh, his birthday, I think last year. And he played with this for a really long time. So it's Thank a really you. great toy. Yeah, so I think far as assembly goes, three stars. Uh, how much did it cost? This is uh, listed at $15 on okay. Amazon. The orange, this is with the orange rims. It also has one with pink rims and, or a pink kit with purple rims. And it's a little bit more expensive. I think maybe 20 or 23, mm. which I guess you're just paying because it's pink. I don't know, but um, this is very well priced for a drum set, so. It's a little bit smaller than I would expect, but. <laughs> it's perfect. It's it's a little small for 15 <laughs> bucks, in my, in my opinion. I love it. I yeah. think that the affordability is a three out of three. As a drummer I myself. I give it a two and a half 
Oh my god. Okay. She has to give it a three. I give it a two yeah. and a half. And as far you as you guys decide, easy but. cleanup. It is an easy cleanup because they do have these little spots for the drumsticks in the back. But I think for the age that this is targeted to, I don't find it super realistic that they would not. Not. It's not even a matter of cleaning up. I just think the practicality of a one-year-old remembering to put their drumsticks. Two-year-old. They, they're yeah, like a two-year-old. That just seems like they would honestly forget. Yeah. But. It's a great toy if you're looking for this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So coming in hot as the number one toy in kids' yes. musical instruments on Amazon. This is priced at $15.29, and it is a piano mat, musical keyboard play mat, 39.5 inches electrical musical animal touch play blanket oh, funny Christmas gift toy. That is the full title. The number one one, right? Number one. Okay. And, um, I have thoughts about it. Do you want to share your thoughts first, or how we want to actually? Buy it? I actually really like it. It's a lot going on here, but almost everything on here, as far as pictures and animals and whatnot, they all make noise, and so I really do like that. So the dog makes noise. The duck. Well, it's a swan, but it makes like a duck. Like, well, it's a duck, but it makes <laughs> it makes a sound. All everything on here makes a sound, and I love it. And I like it because more than one kid can actually play on this. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I do like it for all of those reasons. But for this reason, Sharks, I must also say, I struggle with the imagery of the animals because I don't feel like it is very true to the actual real life experience of the animal, which to me is fine if like a duck looks a little bit like a swan or if a cat looks like a turtle. That doesn't offend me. It's just that like, this bird is a little bit more like cartoony, but like this cow is a little bit more realistic and they're not even like proportionately like the sizes of those same animals. <laughs> so that affects me a little bit. Um, also, I don't love that you have to use a screwdriver to um, install the batteries in the back, but we just decided not to use a yeah. screwdriver because like we took the screw out completely because it just wasn't going to affect us for obviously making this video yeah um but yeah i love this i had actually never this seen this type of volume control on a kid's toy love that mm -hmm. and i think it's fun in general because keyboard mats are really hard to get wrong so i think it's a fun toy what do you think about easy cleanup? How many stars oh, would you give it? It's a, I'll give it three stars. It's literally <laughs> just a fold and go. Yeah. Yeah. And then easy to put away. maybe like a one out of three because you have to get a tool out. That just drives me crazy. Oh, yeah, one and a um, half. But it's like, not crazy bad, but then <laughs> it's still get grabbing tools. It can be and a little then tedious. Affordability is fifteen twenty nine. What do you think? Oh, that's I think it's a three a three star. Three I'm gonna stars. give that a two, maybe like a one point seven three five. Three stars, and just just uh, think about it, guys, because <laughs> more than one kid can play on this. Yes, for fifteen bucks. More than one kid can think that birds and cows are the same size. Oh, birds and cows. That's literally like <laughs> what seven and a half dollars per kid if two kids were to it's, play on. It's a great, it's a cool toy. Let us let us know what you guys think. Yeah, let we us love know. them. So that is the video. Yes, these are really fun. I don't know if you guys noticed that I did have to hide this. Um, in my lap because Isabella wanted to play keys the entire time that we were talking. Mm -hmm. So I think if like if you were get, if you want to get your kid any of these toys, you can't go wrong because musical toys are always a hit with the young kids. So yep. definitely check out the description for the links for all of these. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys thought. And peace out. Hey everyone, Jamie here, and I wanted to let you guys know that after some further thought and consideration, um, I did want to bring up something about this little keyboard. So it has, you know, some notes on here, and it actually has them listed correctly C, D, E. You can't fully see, but I will also tell you that even though they are listed correctly, they are not the right sounds associated with what that note is. So I have this little keyboard pulled up here, and you can do this with any keyboard that you might have at home. Um, this is what C, D, E would sound like. And this is what C, D, E sounds like on this keyboard. Which are not the same three notes. So just be mindful that if you do get this for your little one, they are not the accurate notes to those notes that are listed. And if you are a musician, you, that might be overwhelming for you on a personal note. And I just wanted to share that with everyone. Have a great night. <laughs>